All right, so after a closer look at the Aurora database, that got me thinking, how do I even decide what database I need? Well, fortunately, I've got Antoine from our Solutions Architect team to help me answer that. He's been working with a bunch of customers trying to uh, solve their workflows, and we're going to learn a little bit more about that. Yeah, sure. Take it away. Yeah, uh, so um, definitely one of the key things um, that AWS is keen about when we're looking at databases and analytics is uh, this notion of choosing the right tool for a job. Right? Uh, so instead of offering like one big multi-purpose tool that tries to do everything, uh, we really want to focus on making sure we give you a tool that's purpose-built and that's really optimized for what you're trying to do. Uh, so as you can see here, we have a ton of offerings. Um, you know, some of them uh, we've had nearly since the start. Others are just a few months old. But the whole idea here is they're all built around uh, what our customers are telling us they're trying to achieve in terms of databases. And whenever we feel that you know there's you know somewhat of uh, a gap in terms of the offerings, that's where we really like dive deep double down and, and look at building a, a new service there. So um, some of the questions that you would typically like ask, and that's, that's what I, I, I do as a solutions architect, is I come in and I try to uh, see like what are you trying to do? That's really the first question. Like, what are you trying to achieve? Uh, and then afterwards it's looking at where are the types of data? What's the data coming in? Who are the consumers of that data? How does the data need to be persisted? And what are some of the requirements around, let's say, the availability or durability of the data? And that's what really informs, typically, from you know that whole set of services that also have engines and functionalities, down to one or two options that are worth exploring further, right? Um, so yeah, that's that's really the and, and this is really a place where your expertise or and also the number of customers we've helped really comes into play. Yeah. I'd imagine there are a number of variables like how fast do I need the data to be processed? Is it something that needs to get back to the game state immediately? Can you talk to me a little bit about maybe a couple of choices, trade-offs that I might be thinking about making when I choose a database? Yeah. Definitely. Um, so uh, if we just look at uh, relational versus key value store, like the whole relational versus NoSQL um, discussion, uh, more and more we're seeing there's a lot of workloads that uh, are being put into uh, tr uh, relational databases just because that's where they always were. right? And what we're seeing is that there's a lot of these use cases that don't need a lot of complex querying or a lot of processing to be done to join and aggregate this data. And that's where a NoSQL store that's you know, properly uh, designed in terms of schema and the access patterns, that's where you really see um, a lot of gains in terms of the throughput and in terms of the performance that you might get. Um, so that's, um, that's uh, one of those keys there. In terms of also looking at uh, you know, the latency that you're looking for. Um, are you looking at, for example, a back-end service where, let's say, you're authenticating and if you got a sub-second response, that's perfectly fine, versus, uh, let's say, a, a cache that uh, is between two services where you're really looking at each one of these milliseconds. Um, so that's another like, big factor of what's the latency between uh, your consumer and your producer. Um, so that can inform a lot of these technical decisions. It's a really important relationship. I mean, every one of us has experienced that moment where we're on the couch holding the controller and it's like, wait please, hold please, we see that. But being able to solve these problems, like understanding latency tolerance, understanding what sort of data you're pushing, it makes a huge difference. And customers are really benefiting from it, right? Yep. Thank Antoine, thanks so much for that. We're going to have more, whoa, if I keep the mic in front of me, we're going to have more coming right back from GDC 2019 and the Amazon Game Tech booth.